What's up guys, Platter my cards in the house, and today I'm here with an article called Three More Legacy Cards and Reprints, and I'm excited because one of them is a Red Eyes card. Usually Konami with Red Eyes support is more like, You will never get this, you will never get this, la 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 la. So I'm hoping this next card is actually really, really good. Time to find out, huh? Alright, so this card is called Red Eyes Soul. It's a level 7 Dark Dragon effect monster with 900 attack and 2000 defense. Interesting. Um, its effect is you can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn, and you can only use the third effect of this uh, card once per two duel. Oh, okay. Um, effect one is this card's name becomes the Red Eyes Black Dragon while face upon the field or graveyard. That's very useful for fusions and whatnot. And secondly, if your opponent special summons a monster or monsters, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Special summon one Red Eyes monster from your hand or deck except Red Eyes Soul. Um, this is pretty good, uh, just for the summoning power but i feel like this could be a little better if this was on your turn um thirdly is a quick effect and this is the one that can only be used once per duel uh you can target one red eyes black dragon in your monster zone inflict damage to your opponent equal to his original attack oh wow uh red eyes black dragon as we all know is 2400 so that's no joke to burn something with 2400 um i could see variations of this deck start to spin off with burn damage I can see a lot of different ways this card could take the Red Eyes archetype. I definitely checked this card out. I definitely used it in my Red Eyes deck, but I kind of wish we'd gotten something a little bit better. All right, so next up we have a normal trap card. Um, it's called Bridge of Salvation, and its effect is you can apply the first and second effect of this card's name each once per duel. Uh, first effect is if there are two or more different types among level 10 or higher monsters on the field, shuffle all cards in both players' hands, fields, graveyards into the deck, except this card, and each player draws five cards. Okay, so this is generic. Um, it's just any level 10, so I could use it in, say, my Sacred Beast deck. Uh, it just resets everything on the field. I would definitely try playing this in my Sacred Beast deck for sure. And then the second effect is you can banish this card from the graveyard, add one Crystal Beast monster and one field spell from your deck to your hand. Okay, I think this first effect uh, actually would work better in decks that use more level 10s. I know the Crystal Beast uh, archetype has a couple boss monsters, I believe, off the top of my head that do that are level 10s, but uh, if you go into something like Sacred Beast, everything you're summoning pretty much is a level 10. So, but the second effect is Crystal Beast exclusive. Next, we have Return of the Reaper. It's a normal spell card. This card is always treated as an Infernity card. Interesting. Uh, its effect is you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. Special summon one of your Infernity monsters that is banished in your hand or in your graveyard. Okay, so this, automatically I would use three of these. Just because the instant special summon from banished hand or graveyard. Uh, secondly, if an infernity monster or monsters you control is destroyed by battle or leaves the field by an opponent's card effect while this card is in your graveyard, you can set this card to your field. Okay, so normally a lot of times when cards recycle themselves from the graveyard, they'll have an additional effect to where they're banished or removed from player not usable at all after you bring them back. But this one is like infinitely recyclable. So I would definitely run a bunch of these. Obviously three is the max. I would run three of these. And then next we have our reprints, Red Eyes Insight, okay, uh, Rainbow Dragon, and Junk Synchron. Okay, not bad. I actually really like all three of these cards. Um, I hope they'll come out with new Red Eyes support on top of this soon, just because Red Eyes needs help. Uh, secondly, this card is very, very good, not because of the crystal applications as well, but also because of the general effect that it can, I can make it work in my Sacred Beast if I wanted to. Um... Thirdly, this card is... Oh my god, this card. Um, this is an Infernity card. Um, it lets you special summon from pretty much anywhere, and it recycles itself. So this, I would make sure 100% I had in my Infernity deck. Thank you guys for sitting through another card review. This is Plot Armor Cards, and oh my goodness, look at the time. It's time to do... do, do